Now, back when I played this game, my first time through when I was playing Low Chaos, and I was, like, you know, a good guy, I ju this was this area was pretty much the only significant exception in the game to my policy of killing only assassination targets. In this, I killed all the assassins. Minions and Dowd. And, and if so you... did you end up... What's that? Oh, go ahead. No, I didn't get high chaos, because, I mean, at that point, I'd been playing... My chaos rating for the game as a whole was so low that it wasn't enough to tilt me, tip me over, just... Did it, was it enough to tip you to medium? No. Hmm. Well, there aren't a huge number of assassins. That's true. And there's a lot of, like... And in the stage, there's also guards and a lot of weepers and stuff, and I didn't kill any of that. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's pretty important not to kill the weepers. Yeah. If you want a uh, low chaos. Right. Anyways. Now, we're actually not going to leave this area the way we came in. Because remember, remember, in here, there's another uh, exit. Right. So let's see where this takes us. Go to Rudshore Waterfront Street Level. Uh-oh! Oh! Oof. Rat swarm! Good thing I got all my gear. Oh, oh there's chunks of them on me. Ah! Now, the rats, I believe, they won't attack weepers while they're alive. For whatever reason. But they will eat them dead. Alright. Ooh, explosive bomb. <laughs> Bit of stuff here. Oh, survivors. Until I showed up. Okay, that's depressing. They are called weavers. They can languish like this for many weeks. Oh yeah, some of the a lot of the saddest lines in the games are the are the weepers. Using the heart on yeah. them. She's in a better place now. Which is pretty much anywhere in the cosmos that isn't Dunwall. This game, uh, it's pretty sad. Yeah. Oop. Hear that noise? Bone charm. Robust 2. Hmm. Potions give you moderately more health. Donovan's journal. Excerpt from a worn journal. 
Everyone was looking for someone to blame for what happened as the waters rose day by day. And one by one, the business owners had to give up their shops to ankle-high muck and river crust. R- muck and river crust started growing as far back as Thresh Street. Truth is, it wasn't some plot to wipe the ever-prosperous Redshore off Dunwall's maps. It was laziness and stupidity. The barriers keeping the rising w- river waters out hadn't been maintained in at least a decade. And once one leak started, the whole thing gave out. The city was so tied up fighting the plague, no one lifted a finger to salvage the place. It's been a year now, and living in a place the region's forgotten about has its perks. So the thing was flooded for over a year. Yeah, this uh, this place had been like had been wrecked a year ago when this journal was written. So, like, what the hell is going on with Dunwall that it can just have its financial and business district flooded for that long? The the city's the city's in be, the city's in collapse. I mean, you know, the plague has been raging for almost that long. I mean, longer than that. That's true. They and also Nick, remember. Because of their fear of the plague, the other islands of the Empire are blockading Gristle. Right. So they're like like being like economically cut off. They really don't have resources to do anything but cling to subsistence at this point. He was that one's a downer. Well, all, 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 all the weeper lines are. Yeah. And all these sounds of people eating food is making me hungry. <laughs> well, just, I don't know, just think of the weepers attacking me. That'll, that ought to curb your appetite a little. Oh, yes, thank you. Vomiting on somebody. Ugh. Although the Romans thought it was hot. Really? They were. Yeah, they had vomit parties. I thought they would just... I don't think the parties were specifically vomit-themed. I think they just vomited at the parties to clear out so they could eat more. Well, potato, potato. I don't think they were vomiting as an end in itself. <laughs> Probably not. But I like to rewrite history to be grosser. These waters are greedy. Greedy for just a whole civilization of emetophiles. That's why it collapsed. <laughs> Is that the word for that, it? For, for being sexually aroused by vomit? Yes. Why do you know that? I know many things, Nick. Almost all almost all of them hor- hor- all Strange and terrible to know. Day in the life of the head of John Markley. <laughs> Funny, we were talking about Draws the Wrestler the other day because his gimmick was that he could vomit on command. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh God, it's such a strange gimmick. Oh, let's see. Ooh, you can see a lot of. You I'm don't want to go in that. It's... You can see a lot of those fish down there. Right. Yeah. Okay, now see these rooftop. There are. I'm pretty sure normally there would be more guys on these rooftops. I'm pretty sure they were thinned out by me killing those three back at the factory. Right. Because remember they were talking. Normally there are like guys on the roofs and you can you can sneak up and like pick them off from long range with your crossbow. But since I killed them already, I don't have to worry about that. Got a bit more exploring to do.
No, oh, hear that? The commutative, commutative rats and the weeper. 300 coins. So Sokolov. Nice. Someone had a Sokolov painting. Maybe they stole it and put it over here. Possibly. Mm. Although it's, it kind of comes, it comes, it comes up in one in some of the written stuff that uh, <clears throat> it's Oop, letter to Heather. Some of this district, it's kind of like it's like it's like like parts of New York where like even a small place is like crazy expensive. Dear yeah. Heather, hasn't Harold gone on and on to you about this treasure he's got hidden away? I thought he'd talk my ear off. He claims that it proves that he's got imperial heritage. But if you ask me, it just means that our wonderful rulers are buying favors from anybody these days. It's a scandal, that's what it is. Anyway, you should go and see him. When he goes to show you the statue, he's going to ask you to get, guess his safe code. Goodness, he's such a bore. So give him a sly wink and tell him it's 428. I only wish I could be there to see the look on his face when you get it right. You know he fancies you, and he's got money. It may be small and dreary in conversation, no fun at all at dinner parties if you ask me, but he's got money. He has an apartment down by the Chamber of Commerce. Dreadful little hole. Only door in is through the back courtyard, and it's smaller than my loft over by the waterfront. But anyone who can afford a place of any size in that part of town has to be doing well for himself. Alright, now that's a, that's a clue, obviously, and not just about Amelia. And not just about this combination, it's a clue as to how to get in. It's, it's not a very accessible place, as you'll see. In fact, my first couple times through the game, I, I didn't find it. Now, as you may recall earlier, uh, from earlier in the game, the, the the announcer guy, back before he had his unfortunate accident at the at Dunwall Tower, um, one of the things he announces is that like uh, uh, victims of the plague were to be taken to the flooded. Di oh, you see that? Yeah. They're they're waiting for me. But who? But now to ambush the ambusher. <laughs> <laughs> 